Welcome back Future Medicos. In today's video, we will look at the number of seats vacant in deemed universities for the mop-up round. So as you all know, MCC, the Medical Counseling Committee, conducts the counseling for deemed universities. And we have completed round one, round two, and now we are in the third round, which is also known as mop-up round. So once if you don't get a seat in mop-up round or any seats that are falling vacant in mop-up round will go to stray vacancy round. Now, who is eligible for stay vacancy round? Only those candidates who are not holding a seat anywhere and the candidates that are shortlisted by MCC. MCC is supposed to publish an eligible list for stay vacancy round. Only if your name is in the stay vacancy eligible list, then you can participate in the stay vacancy round for deemed universities. Okay, with that introduction, let's go into see the number of vacancies. I have sorted the deemed universities as per uh, the maximum number of seats I have put at the top, the least number of seats at the bottom. So we'll start with the college that has the maximum number of vacancies for mop-up round. So Sri Lak Lakshmi Narayana Institute, Puducherry, which has the maximum number of vacancies. It has 208 seats vacant. I think it has totally probably around 250 out of which 208 seats are vacant. That out of these 186 management quota and 22 NRI quota. I don't think there will be any um, NRI candidate taking a seat in mop up round. So most likely all the 208 seats will be available for management quota candidates. Now second uh, is uh, Sri Satya Sai Medical College Chennai all the 195 seats available under management quota. Then Meenakshi Medical College, again near Chennai, it has 149 seats under management quota and 38 seats available under um, NRA quota. So totally they have 187 seats. At number four, again, another college in Chennai, Bharat Medical College Chennai, 122 seats are available. Then again, a college in Chennai, ACS Medical College, uh, they have 77 seats under management quota and 22 seats under NRI. So totally they have 99 seats. Then Arupadai VD Medical College in Puducherry, they have 83 seats vacant. Then Sri Balaji Medical College, Chennai, they have 45 seats under management quota and 38 seats under NRI. Totally they have 83 seats. So if you look at the top seven colleges, they are either from Chennai or from Puducherry. Okay. So those are the two states that have the maximum number of vacancies. And these seven colleges almost contribute to about 1,000 seats. Uh, they have around 977 vacancies. At number eight, we have Krishna Institute Karad. Uh, they have 50 seats under management quota and 29 seats under NRA. Totally 79 seats. Uh, they have a lot of vacancies because uh, they have just got an approval for an increase of seats by 50 seats, right? I think they got an approval very recently. Then at number nine, again, we have a college from Tamil Nadu, Chetinad Hospital, 59 seats under management quota, nine seats under NRA. Totally, they have 68 seats. D.Y. Patil Pune, they have 26 seats under management quota and 36 under NRA totally 62 seats are available. Then we have a uh, SRM Medical College in Chennai, uh, 56 management seats, three NRA, totally 59. Then we have Raja Rajeshwari Medical College in Bangalore. They have 16 management seats and 38 NRA seats, totally 54. Then Mahatma Gandhi Medical College, Puducherry, they have 47 seats. JLN Medical College, Varda, they have eight seats under management quota, 38 under NRI, totally 46. Sri Siddhartha Medical College, T. Begur has 44. Then uh, IMS Bhuvaneshwar, they also have 44 seats vacant. Lalita Ambigai Medical College in Chennai, which is a new college just started this year. They have 17 seats under management quota and 22 seats under NRI. Totally, they have 39 seats. Then Vinayaka Missions, Karekal, they have 36 seats. 
Datta Mega Medical College in Nagpur, they have 36 seats. Santosh Medical College, Ghaziabad, they have 35. Geetam Institute, Vishakapatnam has 35. BLDE Bijapur has 33 seats vacant. Then Wales Medical College, which is a new college uh, just started. This is located in Tamil Nadu in a place called Thiruvallur. Uh, this has 32 seats vacant. Sri Siddhartha Medical College, Tumkur, they have 30 seats vacant. BV Deemed University, Sangli, they have 30 seats vacant. MM Institute, Mulana, they have 29. D.Y. Patil, Kolapur, they have 29. KLE, uh, Jagadguru, Gangadhar, Mahaswami Galu, Muru Savarmit Medical College, Hubli, they have 26 seats. This is again a new college just started this year. Vinayaka Mission, Salem, they have 25 seats. D.Y. Patil, Navi Mumbai, they have 24. SDU, Kolar, they have 24. Uh, MGM Medical College, Aurangabad, they have 24. Then Rural Medical College uh, Loni uh, or PIMS Loni, they have 23. MGM Navi Mumbai had 22. Ramachandra Medical College in Chennai, they have 20 seats vacant. BV Deemed University Pune has 19 seats vacant. Symbiosis Medical College for Women uh, located in Pune, they have 19 seats vacant. SBKS Medical Institute located Vadora, Vadodara, they have two seats under Jain minority and 13 seats under NRI. So totally they have 15 seats vacant. Then Hamdad New Delhi, they have 13 seats vacant, out of which four seats are for Muslim minority. JSS Mysuru, they have 13 seats vacant. KMC Mangalore has 13 seats vacant. JLN Belagavi has 11 seats vacant. Manipal Tata Jamshedpur has 10 seats vacant. Kalinga Institute Bhubaneswar has 9 seats. Savita Medical College Chennai has 8. Enipoya Medical College Mangalore has 7. KMC Manipal also has 7 seats vacant. Amrita Kochi has 5 seats vacant. KS Hegde Mangaluru has 4 seats vacant. Right, That's the College with the least vacancy is KSA Day Medical College, Mangalore, which has four seats vacant. So if you look at the total numbers under management quota, there are 1,419 seats vacant. Jain minority two, Muslim minority seven, NRA has 757. And most of these seats will become vacant uh, during mop-up round. And those seats will be converted to management quota. So management quota will approximately have about 2,000 seats um, for mop-up round. So totally what we have, we have 2,185. So anyone who is interested in getting a seat, if they don't mind paying a higher fees, please participate in the mop-up round. You are guaranteed to get a seat, right? I believe the cutoff will be close to 108 marks. So if you are uh, really interested, go for it, take a seat, okay? Don't wait for stray vacancy round. I see a lot of comments related to stray vacancy round. Uh, I don't know why you are looking for stray, stray, strain, right? Only when you come to stray vacancy round, you will know what are the troubles in stray vacancy round. It's not easier to get a seat in stray vacancy round. On the same day, the counseling will happen for many colleges. And you have to be physically present in a college to get a seat. So if you are dreaming that, oh, I can get Manipal, I can get Mangalore, I can get Ramachandra during um, stay vacancy round, you may be disappointed. Uh, my advice, now seats are available in mop-up round, go get it, right? Waiting for stay vacancy round, yeah, it might work for some candidates, but for many candidates, it may not work. Thank you, bye-bye. <laughs>